I had to stop and get gas while pumping at the gas station. Like literally, mommy life never ends, but I love it here. Oh wow. Aren't you a little fighter, buddy? Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. But we getting her right up. We getting her right up. up and we're finna walk across. He okay, he just, he was just being held by his daddy. Now he not, so now he wanna whine. Mm. I'm sorry, you gotta hear all this, mama. What's wrong, Sorry, fattest. I'm so appreciative. It don't make no sense. And oh, it's a car and it's this little Java. Wait a minute. I know they didn't write my name. When they say she get it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right. Body boot is fun for life. Tell me in the home of life. Tell me is you down? Cause I'm trying to go up tonight. All the home she said to right. I just want to. Good morning, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my online video diary. What's up, y'all? So, hello, we gotta get this hair together. Okay, y'all, don't mind that noise. I'm pumping right now, obviously, with my little portable pump. I just, like, I filled up six ounces in 15 minutes. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I'm finna get ready because I gotta go to this doctor's appointment in Atlanta for my baby. Alright y'all, so I'm back. Don't mind a nursing bra. I hate wearing these. They're so like, ill, but yeah, that's how it looks. Let me show y'all the little outfit of the day. Just this little cute graphic little shirt. This little skirt, whatever. Look at the belly. I really don't got no time right now because if we walk out the house, we'll be there with 10 minutes to spare. But traffic be real ghetto, so need to walk out the house. When I come back to the house later, I'm going to show you guys the postpartum products that I use on my belly. And I'm going to tell you guys a little more about what's going on with baby boy with KJ and why we even going to this little appointment anyway. So, yeah, y'all. Oops. In the meantime, in between time, we got to go. I need to get him dressed. He's not even dressed. And I need to get my baby dressed. Aren't you a little fighter, buddy? Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. Hopefully that got a grace period. Why well, need to change that booty, your diaper wet. Yeah, I wanted to put him on this little outfit, but I really don't got time and I don't feel like taking him out his top. Cause my baby looks so freaking comfortable, so we're not doing that. Hey, fat baby. Yeah, hey, sick man. My baby been real gassy lately, so. Gotta get him some gripe water. <sighs> okay, y'all, so update the appointment we we're too late to get there so we're not going there obviously you know i never go over the grace period but this appointment we would have been like 30 to 40 minutes late and they probably wouldn't have took us so there's no reason to drive out that far just to not be uh seen yeah i'm gonna show y'all when i get home my baby's finger what it looked like like he got like an extra like an extra finger but you just get it tied off because there's like no bones or anything in there where they wouldn't be able to just you know, you just tie a thing around it and it falls off. You go to the actual pediatric hand specialist and let them do it. Like, you know, because it is a blood vessel in there. So that's why you really got to let them handle it. So, y'all, I'm finna go out. I'm finna go out to the mall because that's really where after the appointment, I wanted to go out to like probably go grab a bite and eat and like go to Lenox. That's really what's my plan. But yeah, we're not by Lenox. So I'm gonna go to a different mall because the only thing I really want to do is go look at stuff for my baby because I like looking at baby stuff and I want to go to Pandora and find me something out of Pandora that's all I wanted to do and just like get out the house like that's it so yeah we made a stop first my mama had to go do something but then we're going to be on the way to the mall I cannot wait y'all I look so drained because I am I'm drained but yeah y'all when I get back home I'm going to show you guys my baby's finger um, I'm surprised nobody has commented on it. Like, I guess nobody noticed. But even if you did notice, maybe you just ain't say nothing, which is totally fine. I really don't, it don't matter. But yeah, um, you could see it in some of his pictures and stuff. It's not like hidden, you could see it. But, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, y'all go follow my baby on Instagram and follow me on Instagram. You'll probably, you might get to see what I'm talking about. But, yeah, he won't need like no surgery for it. Not really like no surgery. Not like you no know, inpatient procedure. It's just something really quick, hopefully. 
that's what we was going to the doctor to see today like what steps are they going to take i really should get my toes done today it's so much stuff i want to do but i want to take my baby with me like i don't want to leave my baby to go do certain stuff i want my baby to be right with me but he can't go to the nail shop so yeah and y'all my graduation is in two days i'm excited about that i'm gonna vlog i really ain't picked up the camera since like my baby was like three days old that's what's going on i'm definitely finna go to the mall get myself together i went to waffle house this morning and then came back home i left my baby to go to waffle house so yeah i'm just talking your head off but that's mother t baby okay yeah when i get home i'm gonna tell you guys about postpartum so far i'm gonna show you guys my body the products i use on my body how i feel physically how i feel mentally I'm going to tell y'all all about it, baby. All about it. And I'm going to get an update on baby boys. So, y'all stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'm going to see you guys at the mall. All right, y'all. We made it like a couple hours later. We had picked up Daisy and stuff. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Ah, my hand, fingernails getting stuck to my hand. So, yeah, we're going to get this car seat out and put him in the stroller. It smells like gas out here. This is what it looked like, y'all. Y'all want to see me take it out? Well, let's see if I can do it. We're up. So we're going to open it. <laughs> okay, you just pop him right here. Pop him in the face. Oh, wow. This is so fire. I love the even flow pivot. Area for it, but hey, so far I see it is. Baby. We finna go. Hold up, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Auntie doing this. You feel me? She insists on having that on her back, <laughs> and she's pushing him. I was just pushing him, but now she's pushing him. But yeah, we're just... I think I have fucking baby. Oh, girl, we walking into South Lake. Y'all, this was our last option, so to South Lake we go. Get him. Get you my baby in here. My mama and Tay, they too far behind. But we finna walk in here. Okay, y'all, so it's nobody in this mall. Nice and dead, like it's always. Like, literally nobody be here. Okay, y'all, I could finally show y'all the outfit of the day. We just got the little braids in. Little skirt, I believe, from Sheen. Shirt, probably from Sheen. And the little sandals. It's a baggy, baggy, baggy. Yeah, yeah we enjoying our little outing. Like, all we doing is walking around the mall. And nobody's in here, so... It's not like I got my baby around a whole bunch of people. Should he be around more people when we go to the doctors? But he's just chilling with his foot picked up. <laughs> One thing about it, my baby gonna kick his foot up. But Daisy wanna go into Children's Place, so... We're going into Children's Place. See what's in here. Then I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom because mm, TMI, TMI. But yeah. Y'all look, Children's Place, it says 60% off the entire store. So if you got a baby, make your way to Children's Place. <laughs> Golly, they're so stocked up in here, aren't they? Oh, these are so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, all these are so stinking cute. For the little girls. Oh my gosh. What you see, Daisy? Oh, the boy section. Like, no, oh. keep going back. Oh my goodness. These are so stinking cute. Who besides who wear? My baby? No, he's not in no damn Tootsie girl. <laughs> Stop playing with my baby. No, he's a um he wear a newborn. Well he really no, he has zero to three months. <laughs> I look so 
so kale. We got chocolate vanilla swirl. Am I the vanilla? I'm trying to see y'all, what should I eat? I really don't eat like that. I want to try that. Yeah. Want some of this? Okay. You can have some. I just be so yeah, scared to eat this. It's huge. Why? What's wrong, baby? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes I make him take a break. Because he will dog. You know I got a booty in these, don't it? Look, I ain't clean out of ass in these. I'm full, boo. Okay, y'all, so let me show y'all what we had got. Let me show you. Hold up. Little. We're not little no more. Okay, y'all, look. This is what I had got That's from Forever 21. Man, no, no, Baby, no. look what I got from Forever 21, y'all. I got this little dress. I think it's so cute. I'm just so I got it because it matched my sandals I got on now. I don't really got that much orange stuff in my closet, so I'm like, I need this. Um, I might wear this under my cap and gown for graduation, but I think I got to wear... Yeah, I think I gotta wear no, not under it, don't matter. But I think I gotta wear some black clothes toe shoes, so I don't know. But like after the graduation, I might put this on. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do after graduation. My friend having a, I think she having a graduation party, but I don't know. Like I might probably just go out to eat or something, or you know, something real cool and simple. <laughs> Tomorrow is my due date. Tomorrow is when the baby was probably gonna come, and then the day after is my graduation. But. Really, I could really walk across the stage with my baby, but I don't know if I want to do all that. I could really take him across the stage with me. And then, y'all, look at this. Kay got this for the baby, y'all. It did my baby. It's so freaking red. It's hot. He got this for that ad. Let's see what it is. Oh, I already seen it, but it's a five piece set. I can say, but I ain't know they come with all of this. It's like two onesies and two babies. They don't have like that. <laughs> this is cute. His daddy got this for him. He just got him some other stuff. So yeah, we're gonna cut our little mob Is it short? Cause I really need a pump. It's nasty. What? The food. It's sour. Is this cat? No. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, when I got in the house, you guys seen I had just took it upon myself to what did I just do? I don't even remember. Oh, I had pumped on my way from the mall. When we left the mall, I had pumped in the car. I, a lot didn't come out because I've been putting him on a boob all day. So, a lot didn't come out. He's been eating it straight from the boobie all day. Then I came in the room. I breastfed him and he went to sleep. Y'all, my baby been going through this thing lately. Oh, and by the way, he'll be two weeks tomorrow. He's been going through this thing lately for like the last past two days. He don't really want to get put down. He just... I don't know. He's being spoiled. But not only that, I feel like it's not really him being spoiled. I feel like he's very uncomfortable. I think he got gas. That's what I think. I think he got gas because he's farting a lot. And when he fart, it disrupts him. It wakes him up out of his sleep. He cries. And sometimes it'd be a little poop in there. Like, you know, he's really gassy. And it's disturbing him really bad. So like he wants he just want extra cuddles and stuff like that. And because his stomach hurts. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Dad? Say my tummy hurt, Mama. My tummy hurts. Look at my baby. You tell me your tummy hurt. Also, he started this new thing where he spits up. Um that just started two days ago. He spits up now. He was not spitting up before, but now he spits up like a regular baby. Um, his pediatrician said that's normal. Um, even at this age, it's because, you know, he eats like a big baby. He spits up like a big baby. Yeah, I know babies spit up. But I just wasn't expecting that so early. Like, why are you doing that? But, yeah. 
Like he just spit up on his shirt. That's why I just took him out his bassinet. Cause sometimes I be feeling like he gonna choke on his spit up. So I took him out. And he got some dried up boogers in there. He got dried up boogers in his nose. <laughs> so I'm finna take it out with his little booger picker out or thingy. And what else is going on with the baby? His umbilical cord fell off this morning. So, I feel like my voice sound different. I don't know. But anyway, his umbilical cord fell off this morning, y'all. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like my baby been acting different since his umbilical cord fell off. and Stuff like that. And it's drying up really well. Like when it first fell off this morning, I felt like it was kind of wet. And then my baby got a hernia. Um, it's starting to grow. It's little, but he got a hernia. But nothing wrong. It's not hard. I could push it in. Just got a little hernia set outside the belly button. But um, I'm actually editing right now. He let me finish editing before he just spit up and I had to get him out the bassinet. And y'all, I don't let my baby just lay there while he's spinning up. Like, if he's spinning up and it's a whole bunch of, like, throw up or whatever, I'm not finna just let him just sit there. Like, although he got the reflex to where he could spit and, like, cough it up well, I just still can't sit there and watch my baby just swallow his throw up and stuff. I'd be having to get him immediately. Be running to my baby. Ain't that right? Yeah, he got on this little shirt from Sheen. I'm gonna have to show you guys a Sheen haul. We already opened the packages up, so yeah, some of it got washed, and some of it didn't, cause I only washed newborn through three months. I don't do anything bigger than that, cause I don't. It's too much. But yeah, so I'm finna take his boogers out his nose with his booger picker outer, and we'll see where we go from there. I'm actually, like I said, editing, cause it's time for me to post. I want to get these videos out for you guys. Y'all comment down below if y'all enjoying the vlogs, if y'all appreciate how active your girl is being on here for y'all. So y'all stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a post notification bell on so y'all not missing out on any of this content. All right, y'all. It's these tools from Dr. Talbots. It's just these little booger pickers. So, yeah. I'm about to get his little boogies out his nose. It's for your boogers and your ears. Um, But I'm not finna go in his ears. Nothing wrong with his ears. So, let's see how we get that out. Ooh. Ooh, fudge. Ooh, he's getting it all out, ain't it? He's getting it all out for my baby. Ooh. And he actually sitting in here sleep through most of that. I'm surprised. Oh, my God. That is huge. Oh, my goodness. I'm over here thinking that's just skin in his nose. That's literally been in his nose since birth. Yuck. Okay, we're going to clean these off. I'm about to use the other one. Y'all, I'm sick right now. That is crazy. Yo, it's so much boogers in his nose. This makes no sense. Maybe he'll be able to stop sounding like that when he breathes. I'm finna get all his boogers out. So y'all, this is my chunky, wonky, donky, wonky baby. I just got all in his nose and cleaned it out. Mamas, I recommend I get that product because he literally just stayed asleep for that when I was in his nose. And yeah, he just he just sat there and chilled. But tonight is the night he's getting another wipe down. He's been getting wipe downs like really every two nights. Sometime back to back. But I be wiping my baby down, cleaning him. And yeah, tonight you're getting a wipe down, buddy. You're gonna wipe down, sir. So, y'all finna finish editing. Then I got some stuff to do on the computer. I really got some things to do back to back. I'm gonna make a little Instacart order. Um, and yeah, that's what we're finna do. Stinky man. And he sleep right here in the bed. I'm finna put him in his bassinet. I don't know what he think this is. But you're finna go in the bassinet. He ain't worried about me. He like, girl, no, you gonna keep me right here if I wanna be right here. I'm my baby. He can be really wherever he wanna be. Okay, y'all, so I am fresh out the mother shower. I'm sitting down right now. Um, My man got my baby, so I'm just sitting down. You feel me? But y'all, it's nothing like taking a fresh shower in the morning and nighttime after a long day of being a boss-ass mom or a long night after being a 
tired, stressed out mother. Okay. But anyway, I just got the shower and yeah, I'm about okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all why I got y'all attention. Because yeah, basically I just got done I got done working. I was working like nonstop between editing and doing other things I do. On my computer, I was working for about two hours nonstop while my baby was asleep. I probably should have been sleeping when my baby was asleep. But it's hard to sleep when my baby sleep because I'm always working, 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 working. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to share with you guys some postpartum items I use, I like. And I'm going to um just give you guys a little update. Like I told you guys how I'm doing mentally, physically. So, boom. We're going to start physically. So, y'all, first of all get these bras off sheen if you are a well if you're going to be a breastfeeding mom i tell y'all get these bras just look just like this and i already washed them but you just clip unclip it and just like that the boobie is out for baby i love these for the middle of the night and when i'm out these are like the only bras i wear now y'all also gonna need some nipple pads oh, oh that went straight in the toilet Oh my gosh. But you're gonna need some nipple pads for if your breasts start to leak. Like mine do. I I produce a lot of milk about ooh. I don't know. I could do like ten ounces every time I pump. And I pump like four times a day. Damn. I don't know y'all. I'm a cow. I even dump some milk out. Like, don't come for me, but I do be dumping milk out because it gets to that point. Like, if I'm in a car, I have nowhere to store my milk and I have to pump. 10 ounces is getting dumped because there's nowhere for it to be. So, yeah, it gets like that sometimes. But hold up. Let me go get another little pad. Okay, y'all. I got to hurry up because my baby whining. And I don't... Y'all, I don't like when my baby whine. Y'all, it's so much. I need to update y'all on. But anyway, so, yeah, I do breastfeed and I pump. I pump and breastfeed. I really like to feed my baby off my breast. I don't know. I just, I like the feeling. I just, I don't know. I just feel like a mommy when my baby's on my breast. I just feel like so special. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just nourishing my little human. I love it so much. I also pump just because he's not able to drink everything I let out because he can't drink that much. So I do pump, store, freeze, refrigerate. My baby do drink bottles too. Uh, yeah, my baby been latching on since like he was two hours old. Like, my baby came out the room latching, like, so I don't really know how it feels for your baby not to be able to latch. So, yeah, that's how that's going. Breastfeeding is going pretty well. I'm enjoying it, every bit of it. And, like I said, this is these are my best friends with the pads in them because this is what keeps me together. Um, baby doing well, but this is about me. So let me show you guys what I use on my body. These are the two main things I'm using right now. I go back and forth. I'm using this. It's just this tummy butter. Tay mom got this for me and she said, uh, like use it twice a day. And she said it works with like stretch marks and stuff like that. So I'm using this. And I just recently bought this for myself. It's this Nivea um, skin firming and Tony, Tony gel cream for my baby. Get my baby. Get my baby. Let me see mommy. Mm. What's up, fat man? Is he, is he, is he, okay. Oh, shit. Baby, is his diaper wet? I don't know. He done brought my baby in here to one sock. What is, like, what is this? Like, what is that, daddy? <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. All right, I'm finna feed my baby because he acting like <laughs> you is so sticky cute, dude. You gotta show them people how cute she is. You is so sticky cute, dude. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he'll just let me talk. But well, I don't have to feed him real quick. He just ate, but my baby, y'all, my baby's a big back. All he wanna do is eat, cause you got a big back, and that's why when he was in my stomach in the group chat, I was calling you baby big back. Cause you got a big bad boy. Anyway, life's great. Yeah, because you was my son, and I am your mommy. Yeah, cause nobody better play with my baby. Don't play with my baby. Yeah, don't play with my son. Tell them. Say don't play with me. Yep. 
Y'all, my baby gonna be talking. I know he is, cause I sit and talk to my baby all the time. His daddy read books to him and sing to him and stuff. And he be looking like he got something to say, but he just can't get it out. Yeah. You got something to say? But I'm finna bathe him tonight too. And I'm gonna cook tonight. But I'm just trying to give y'all an update on what's going on. But yeah, I use that Nivea gel. And then I use um, my pregnancy band. I need a waistband, but I don't got one. So I use my pregnancy band. Although my pregnancy band is becoming way too small for my waist. But um, yeah, I use those two products back to back. Whatever I feel like in the mood, I lather that on all day. I, be, I used to run and wrap like two days in a row and I went walking. You know, little steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, that man. And my baby got baby acne, y'all. Comment down below if you know about baby acne. It pisses me off because it's like, why my baby skin doing that? Like his skin that act up before he could get his his newborn pictures. Golly, you got red cherry red bumps. I'm gonna put some breast milk on his arm. Um, I'm gonna put some breast milk on his arm. Um. Y'all hear him? He is a big bag. Where is you going, fatty? Stink man, where is you going? Okay, y'all. So, yeah. I'm going to give you guys more of an update with the following weeks. Because I got to be a mama to my baby. But, like I said, physically, postpartum is going well for me. In my opinion, I guess. Oh, shucks. Mentally, postpartum, I guess, is going good. Whatever. It's, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Like, I just don't motherfucking know. I just, it's really just getting adjusted. So I'm just really getting adjusted to my new life. I love my baby. I love being with my baby. But, yeah, I just be wanting to, honestly, sometimes I just be wanting to be with just me and my baby. Like, that's it. Like, I literally just want to be with me and my baby. Like, I don't know. It's like, I just really be wanting to be with my baby all the time, 24-7, just him and I. Like, I just love my little human so much. And it's like, I don't know. Like, this is my little baby. And I, I want my baby with me 24-7. When I'm not with my baby, like, I can't even focus on what's going on. Like, I just can't focus. I want my baby with me at all times. And, yeah, so, I be good until, like, I don't know. I just be wanting my baby with me. Um, yeah, I love my baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know. I love my, my new life. I can't say that, like. I love my new life. When I tell you, I've been planning this little life of mine for a long time now. And it's just like, it's like my dreams came true. Like, it's like when you get pregnant, it's like, oh my goodness. Am I really going to be able to carry a baby for full time? Like, you go to each appointment every week, hoping to hear the heartbeat. You know, then the day comes and you have your baby. And it's like, you pray everything go well. Like, labor and delivery. That y'all make it. I do. And then it's like, you hope you can take your baby home. Y'all go home. And it's like, now you home. And it's like, you just making sure you do everything right to make sure. Yeah, you just make sure you do everything right so you carry your baby. Like, take, like, you just make sure you take good care of your baby, y'all. All right. Okay, y'all. I had to turn the camera back on. You done? Fat? Like, what you doing? Anyway, I had to turn the camera back on because before I forget about it, I want to go ahead and thank everybody who's been buying stuff off my baby registry. Like, it's crazy y'all buying y'all just buying stuff for my baby registry. Like it's such a blessing. I really appreciate it. Like I don't know. I just think it's so sweet for y'all to get things for my child. Like I don't know. I be mind blown sometimes. Like people are really out here getting things for your baby. You're a big back bud. You need to slow down. But anyway, yeah. So I just want to go ahead and thank some of y'all that I see. Ooh, bless you. Like all of y'all. Thank you, Kim. Um, Oh, Selena, I already told her thank you. Sonia, Sonia. Mom, oh, Jessica bought some stuff too. Mayana, Mayani, my. Oh my goodness, I don't want to pronounce nobody's name wrong. But, yes, I appreciate y'all so much. And when this stuff comes, I'm going um, to try to show it in the vlogs. Like, I don't know, sometimes it's hard for me to, to keep up with stuff. But, like, for instance, my baby's. Um, them shades for the car, someone purchased those. I already put them in the car, so, like, I can't show y'all those. But, like, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it. But I'm finna um, bathe my baby, because I bathe myself. I'm finna bathe my baby, and then I'm finna cook, so. 
Yeah. Y'all, his umbilical cord dried up and fell off. Hey! I love you. You're a stinky boy. They say time here. This boy, Anthony, right here. And he said, listen, I'm from the tricks. We got a whole lot of tricks. You got a whole lot of tricks. And I want to see what you do. Say that you've been noticing. He ain't me. If I ever made you angry, girl, just know that it get better over time. What's up, y'all? So, it is now 4.13 p.m. Y'all, last night, I was supposed to cook, like, some chicken and rice, but I just got too tired, and I was hungry. I needed something quick. So, um, Tay, I made me something to eat last night. I didn't vlog that. But, yeah, and then I had a really good night. Me and the baby, well, the baby had a really good night. He slept. I mean, he didn't sleep the whole night. He a newborn. He not gonna sleep the whole night. But he did sleep a pretty good amount, and we breastfed the whole night. He didn't even get no bottles. Every time he woke up, I just gave him some milk off the booby. So, yeah, that was perfect. Like, I didn't, did I pump last night? I did pump before I went to sleep, but, like, sometimes I be having to pump all throughout the night because my, because I'm giving him bottles, but he was just on the boob, so that was perfect. And, y'all, when I woke up, it was, like, I woke up at, like, 1030, like, when I really woke up to get up with the baby, and it was a tornado warning, so... I, it looked really ugly outside, and I just didn't want to vlog, y'all. Y'all, I do not, when it's a tornado warning, I do not like to do anything but just sit in the bed and just chill out. Because a tornado had hit not too far from where I live, like a year ago, I believe, and it tore the city up. Okay, so I be, I don't be scared, but I just be like on edge. And y'all, this is my first like tornado warning with my baby, so I'm like, Yeah, it was scary, y'all, for my for me and my my baby. And of course, Tay, he cool as a cucumber. Like, girl, it ain't finna be no, it ain't finna be no tornado. And I'm like, let's go to my mama house because they got a basement. I'm like, let's go to that basement. He like, no. So he's like, ain't no tornado finna come. But y'all see in the back is some stuff I have for the baby, like his backdrop and his basket and lights and stuff. Cause we tried to take some pictures, y'all. Batman wasn't going for it. Probably because I woke him up from his nap. That's probably my fault. I woke him up from his nap. I know, right? Dumb. I woke him up from his nap because I'm thinking like, I didn't try to wake him up. I'm like, he's asleep. Perfect time to take pictures. But as soon as I pick him up, he's up. He's no longer asleep. So, yeah, that's basically a summary of our morning, how it went. And now, y'all, today is my due date. Isn't that crazy? Today's the day I was supposed to have a baby. I'm so grateful he came early because he's actually two weeks today. Yeah, so he's not a one day old or just was born. He's two weeks today, and I feel blessed. And what else? So that's basically how our morning went. It was just a tornado warning. We just sat in the bed, chilled out. I tried to take some pictures of Fat Man. And, yeah, now I'm going to put an order in for Juicy Crab and get it delivered because, I don't know, I'm just in the mood for some Juicy Crab. I want something real. Juicy tonight. I'm gonna definitely cook some chicken and rice because I won't be too tired. I'm gonna get started on that early. It was an Instacart order, that's why it came so late. But anyway, I really picked up the camera because I was gonna skip today vlogging and just pick up the camera tomorrow on my graduation day to vlog. But I had something coming in the mail today, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to just open it so bad. I need to take pictures, open it, everything. But hold on, let me put my order in for Juicy Crab before I forget, y'all. I get so sidetracked. I don't have pregnancy brain no more. I can't say that because I be on it. But I do get sidetracked often. Pick up, ready for pickup in 6 to 16 minutes. Hold on, let me place this order, then I'm going to get back to y'all. Okay, y'all. Anyway, life's great. Feel good. But yeah, the back is a little messy just because, like I told y'all, um, tried to take pictures of my baby. And he acted a fool, y'all. Like, he acted a fool. I don't know if the stuff was itching his skin or something. Like, he acted a fool in the cute outfits. As soon as I take his clothes off, he's smiling. Gums. Like, little boy, are you seriously doing this to mama? But, yeah. Okay, anyway. Y'all, look what the Dr. Brown sent me. Like, sent KJ. Not me, but KJ. They sent this for KJ, man. So, this is the box. The outside of the box, as you guys can see. It says, for every moment... And milestone, Dr. Brown. And there's some pictures of stuff. But when you open this bad boy up, oh, I didn't mean to do that. But when you open it up, 
it literally says oh baby tag us dr brown at dr brown's and hashtag feeding together but y'all look at everything inside this box like y'all this is such a blessing that they sent all of this stuff for the baby like i'm so appreciative it don't make no sense and oh, it's a card and it says little java wait a minute i know they didn't write my name y'all finna cry like first of all we spoke so long ago i didn't even i forgot all about this coming so the fact that like i don't know it's kind of like a surprise because i you know when you know something finna come but then you forget about it yeah so yeah he was shout out to dr browns like honestly thank y'all so freaking much i appreciate this so much it literally got my name on the note i'm finna open the note up first y'all stuff like this be making me want to cry because it's just so sweet that y'all you know they actually sent me something and inside it's a car oh it says little java we hope you and your family enjoy these dr brown goodies y'all y'all like it's literally written in there with a pen like this is just everything to me Ooh, so we're gonna open this i'm just gonna show you guys everything they sent for us inside of here y'all the dr browns okay so they sent some breast milk storage bags 50 count which is nice because y'all know i am a breastfeeding mama so i really appreciate these and definitely going to use them we got some collection bottles a pack of four a pack of four four ounces this is super nice because y'all know i be be having to pack up stuff for that baby although i pump like nine i pack anywhere from nine to 11 ounces every time i pump so but that's still nice we got a soft and safe brush and comb for baby oh my goodness i love this the little like wood look is so freaking cute oh my goodness i love this so much um my baby got like he got boohoo hair in the back and it's kind of thin at the top so yeah that's how my baby hair look y'all and then we got some anti-colic bottles he's gonna be able to use this because um well i don't know if he'll actually he probably will um be able to um drink out of these oh my goodness i'm gonna open it up so these are his first anti these are his first dr brown bottles and that's so cool because all i want is my baby is this a glass bottle whoa this is his first glass bottle now this is fire i don't know how i feel about that and then it come with the little silicone you can put the bottle in this is crazy y'all this is crazy oh they sent these are just these are two glass silicone bottles from i mean these are two glass anti-colic bottles then you got this drying rack y'all this is fire i like it look at this y'all this is huge actually the little drying rack man shout out to dr brown but yeah, um, I had got a phone call. But y'all, like I said, my graduation is tomorrow. But hopefully my boyfriend's shirt comes in in time because he got his own little shirt, you know, made. It's cute. But y'all, look what my baby wearing. I know, right? Mommy, you did it. So, my baby wearing a little shirt. And yeah, I'm looking at my cap and gown right now. I still have yet to try it on. I just been so busy with mommy and but yeah so i'm gonna catch y'all a little later i'm finna just chill out for a second until my food get here i'm finna go sit in the bed with my baby because he is in the room so i'm finna go sit with him and just chill until my food get here i'm hungry so yeah shout out to dr browns i really appreciate all of this stuff like i appreciate it thank you Ooh, it tastes like goldfish. All right, y'all, don't mind the dishwasher is loud. Got the dishwasher running, but I just tried on my cap and gown for tomorrow or whatever. Y'all. I didn't even vlog. I ended up getting my juicy crab and stuff. But. How you work? I don't know why I'm not that excited. That's why I'm excited, but not really. I don't know. After having my baby, I don't think nothing else could get me more excited than having a whole.
little kid. So. But yes, 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 your girl graduates tomorrow. Bae. It's amazing how she feel out that. Yeah, this is amazing. Let me show y'all what the baby is going to be wearing tomorrow for his mama's graduation. Y'all, Dwight's hair shirt is not going to come in in time. It don't look like it's going to come in on time. Y'all, Amazon really just be, oh, suck. But, I mean, my baby stuff is here. That's nice. But, y'all, Tay stuff don't look like it's going to come. But, look, this is Stinky Man. It says, Mommy, you did it. And then he gonna wear these pants. I mean, he got options. He could put these on, which I like. Or he could put his yellow in it to pull on, which I literally got for this outfit. Or he could put his all whites on, his white and gray. I'm gonna let his daddy pick it out. Whatever he wear tomorrow. But he, I think my baby crying. But yeah, I just came here to give you guys like a little update or whatever. I'm finna just get in the shower and call it a night. My um, sister and mom came over there. That's who brought me my juicy crab. And then we end up just chilling and doing some little things. And yeah, now I'm back home. Today was actually like a really quick day. But that's because I spent the majority of the day in the bed during a tornado warning. But I feel like I hear my baby crying. But yeah, so I'm just going to get in the shower and get ready for tomorrow. And I'm going to see you guys actually tomorrow when things are getting started. I'm so excited. The only thing I did was to get my nails done for this. As you guys can see, I had bought a dress too to wear, but I can't wear that color. I thought I could, whatever. But yeah, so like I am excited, but then again, it's like I'm not excited. Like, I don't know, like I just feel like it's another regular day. I really don't feel like I don't know, y'all. I just don't feel super excited. Is that not normal? Is that normal? I don't know. I just feel like if it ain't got nothing to do with my baby, like I don't be give. I don't really care. <laughs> And that sounds bad because, like, girl, this your whole graduation. But it's just, like, I'm about to literally, I'm going to have to leave the house. They said we got to be there by 12. So, for me to get there, I really got to leave damn near, like, 1030. So, I got to get up early. That's kind of into my pumping time, my one-on-one -on -one time with my baby after being up all night. So, and then graduation isn't until 2. And you're probably going to be there just sitting there and stuff until probably 3 or 4. So, that's, like, damn near 1030 to 4. I'm not even going to be around my baby. Like, hell no. I don't even like the idea of that. And I think that's really what's getting me. Like, the excitement is not there. But hopefully tomorrow I wake up with a different energy. Like, I didn't even book a makeup appointment or anything. I'm just like, whatever. But y'all know I could do a little one-two to the face. Face card never declined, so it's not an issue. And then we're going to do a little hair. We're going to get ourselves together. But I don't know, y'all. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be late. Cause I'm late to everything and I make sure my baby is straight before I walk out the house. I really don't care. Um, if I gotta be late, I'll make sure my baby is sh straight before I walk out the house. Period. So, but anyway, that's enough talking, y'all. I'm talking y'all head off. I'm finna just get in the shower and get myself together. So, mm, I lied. I need to get my baby bottles together before I hop in the shower because I'm finna to sterilize my pump so I can go use my pump probably when I get out the shower. Um, to store some more milk in the refrigerator but I think he's pretty much out of his bottles that his pre-made bottles I pump pour and I freeze but the ones that I've poured it's time for him to get those distributed evenly in bottles so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now yeah then I'm gonna get in the shower mommy duties first All right, y'all, so today is the day of graduation. I'm tired. I was up with my baby all night. Oh, it's not like he's spitting up. Let me get my son. 
I love y'all. It's kind of chaotic, so it's hard for me to vlog. So, give me a second. All right, y'all. So I had to stop and get gas before graduation. Yes. We're supposed to be there at twelve thirty, but my ETA already said twelve fifty. Plus, I gotta stop and get gas. I'll probably be there at one, and nobody better say shit to me. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take it there. But anyway, I had to stop and get gas while pumping at the gas station. Like literally, mommy life never ends. But I love it here. So yeah, we getting the gas in the car, y'all. Why is gas? Three sixty-nine. Like, Remember I don't know. Maybe I ain't pump. I ain't got gas in a long time, so I ain't realize. I ain't realize. But gas is expensive right now. Oh, it stopped. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. So I'm walking. My gown is unzipped in the back because I ain't had nobody to zip it for me. Um. Yeah. Got my cap and shit. Got my bag and yeah. Whew. Uh, graduation, graduates park all the way in the back, which is the dumbest sh ever. Cause now I'm walking like it is packed out here, y'all. I don't know if y'all could tell, but it is packed. Yeah, my gown on backwards, of course. No, we're gonna fix it though. And then my dad, he gonna it. zip it up. <laughs> I did ask him. I just seen him. No wonder, like I'm over here, feel like I'm choking and everything. <laughs> Okay, everybody got this on this side. You put yours in the front. Let's put it the right way. Which part you got in the back? This part? Yes. Okay. Duh, it says front. Okay. So I got one. Two. Oh, shit. There's a lot of people here. Oh, my Lord. It is. Is this right? Is it a bathroom? Near and dear? I feel like it looks weird, but we got it on the left side. You gotta keep it on the right side. Put it to the left. So right side. I can't find the left. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. So we're I'm ready, kinda. Thank you. She got me together because I can't even look in the mess. Let me tell you something. This is your day. This is the excited. I need to hear some noise because we are here. Make some noise. Y'all, so we just lined up and we're finna walk across. Yay. I'm so proud of everybody. Yeah, I am too. We're finna walk in here. Thank you. I appreciate you. You look pretty soon. So, y'all, I am so excited. <laughs> we don't need. We don't need. He okay. He just he was just being held by his daddy. Now he not. So now he wanna whine. All right, hey y'all. I left my camera in a different vehicle, so we're on the iPhone right now. But I'm so happy I actually participated in my graduation because. I'm just, I'm literally just so proud of myself and the feeling was amazing. It was actually nice. I got a little excited. Like, right before they called my name, I'm like, ooh, little butterflies and stuff. I got my balloons. Y'all, I got graduation balloons. I got graduation balloons, congratulation balloons from baby. Like, all types of stuff. Okay, my camera quality is a little, like, iffy right now. So, y'all, we went to go um, out to eat and I'm finna just... My baby's sleep and I'm tired, so I'm finna take a nap with him and Tay, we gonna take a nap. All my roses I got, I'm finna put them in these vases real quick because I don't want them to die. Good morning, y'all. So, 
it is the next day it's the day before mother's day i'm back on the camera my iphone be so freaking blurry for some reason i think it's the screen protector because my birth vlog when i was switch over to the iphone was not that bad so i think my screen protector must have got cracked but y'all look it's your graduates hey <laughs> yes i am a 2024 graduate y'all i tried to speak a little bit i did vlog on my phone like after graduation but the footage is just so freaking oh like what the heck and i had left my my camera in a car but y'all yesterday was like so freaking amazing for me i'm so happy that i did get the experience it and did go because like it was really an experience like i'm so used to like going to other people's college graduations like you know i don't went to my mom's my aunt's my sister always you know my sister always got something going on you know and you know i'm just used to doing stuff for other people when it comes to college and stuff because like i'm not the first college graduate in my family so i don't experienced it but like when it's actually your turn and it's you it's just it just hit different like it really just hit different so yeah i really enjoyed that moment even though i wasn't gonna show up for real but i actually came and it was just it was amazing seeing everybody there to support me smiling and like genuinely happy it's literally my turn like this is it's my turn like what i finally got a turn so um we bathed our baby we was really in parent mode after that like we gave our baby a bath we fed him and he was asleep for a couple hours so when he gets to sleeping we get the chilling and stuff so i really didn't pick up the camera i sterilized bottles i got my flowers right my kitchen together I even cooked dinner last night. I made like some chicken, potatoes, and rice and stuff. So, I didn't block because I was just being a mom. But, yeah, it is the next day like I told y'all. I'm going to end the vlog here though because we got to do more vlogs. Mother's Day is tomorrow and yeah, I need to go get some things today. And yeah, I just wanted to get y'all an update on the graduation because it was amazing. And also, my recliner came in today. So, I'm going to show you guys that. Yeah, Tay had to get that yesterday. He went and got this from the mailbox. Y'all, why was my... Why was it just sitting there at the mailbox in the neighborhood? Like, FedEx didn't bring it to my door. Because I guess it was... Because it was basically... All together, it was like 120 pounds. So, they didn't bring it to the door. Thank God Tay went and got it. Because... Me for real. Someone could have stole that. But I also want to show y'all some stuff that came in the mail um from some supporters and i'm so grateful i just want to show you guys what was sent so let me change my battery pack because it's gonna die so i can show y'all real quick okay oh my gosh almost fail all right let me show y'all all of this stuff y'all and this isn't even everything because oh. y'all this isn't even everything because Everything that's been ordered have not came yet, you know? It hasn't came. So, I'm just going to show y'all what came. These actually came from my aunt, Jessica. These are like pre-swaddles for the baby. See, y'all, me and Bae, we be doing it the hard way. We literally sit and swaddle KJ like. Like they taught us in the hospital. Like, we be doing the damn thing. We really be swaddling him like that because... We learned how to do it, but I seen these and I was like, you know what? I want to get him some pre-made swaddles. So I really appreciate this because this is going to make it a little easier at nighttime for us. So I'm going to take them out because we're going to wash these up. They are so cute. They come with three of them in there. Really appreciate those. So yeah, he got his swaddles. We're going to wash them up, like I said, because I wash everything for my baby use it. And then all of this stuff came from one person, this stuff right here, um, Miss Sonia, S-O-N-I-A. I Hopefully, I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I don't like pronouncing names because I don't like when my name be pronounced wrong. So, I don't like pronouncing other people's name incorrectly. So, But I'm going to show y'all what she sent, what came in the mail. She got more stuff, but like I said, this is all that came right now. So, I'm going to just show you guys. Uh, hold up, let me show y'all. But I'm gonna show y'all what's here. So she got him some nighttime calming wash, and this is the bath that I. This is the stuff I be using on him at nighttime, and y'all, it puts my baby to sleep. We get a good like he'll sleep for five hours. I have to wake him up after this. 
like you know he just is real common and he got some aquaphor he needed some of this so this came in handy he needed that and then he got all these little pants i already took them out the pack they need to get washed i don't know if i'm gonna wash them just yet I think I am. These are zero to three months. So he's going to be wearing these next. These are just these little Carter joggers. You see, got that light, light, heather gray, this sage, this dark gray, this with this little animal on it. I don't know what animal this is. This um, very, very light blue, this gray, this semi dark gray, and then these navy ones are so cute. And she also got him some um, onesies and stuff. And then, then, it, then it's just these packs of water wipes. These Mama Bear water wipes. I think this is Amazon brand. Um, yeah, so. This is perfect. So, yeah, I really appreciate everything that was sent. And thank y'all to anyone who just look at the registry, think about purchasing stuff or get things off the registry. I'm about to make me some get something to eat. The baby in there sleep with the daddy. So I'm just out here alone, you know. This portion of today's video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. They went ahead and sent me over their super comfy recliner chair. It has generously padded armrests and lumbar area, which offers consistent support no matter your posture. This chair was super easy to put together with no tools necessary. It took my boyfriend only 12 minutes to put this whole recliner together. The fabric is made out of water-resistant synthetic leather, so it's so cool and easy to clean. With the built-in USB charging port, y'all, this chair made it so easy for me to edit while nursing my baby. Y'all, I absolutely love this chair. Like, I'm just rocking. Right now, I'm just rocking with my baby, and he loves it. It's really soothing. It's obviously keeping him so calm. You can actually charge your phone, which is so nice. To be able to charge your phone while rocking the baby or nursing the baby, whatever. Um, I feel like this is a nice chair you can add to your nursery or uh, just a nice furniture piece to put inside your home. It's really nice. Let's see, this is the port. <laughs> you can recline it back. Whoa, look, we go back. Oh my goodness. We can put the feet up. I mean, you look. Now I'll come back up. I like that. <sighs> and I can and I can also put my feet up. Yeah, super convenient. I'm gonna have this actually linked down below in my description box so you guys can go check it out. I know I got a lot of mamas that watch my channel, and I really love putting y'all on to things that I like. So yeah, me and baby loves it. See, I like it, mama. Yeah, I know my baby is greased up right now, y'all. I know. I know he's greased up. So. Yeah, y'all. Alright, I'm going to have this link down below in the description box. You can up on my heart.